<laughs> as they would say. Good hit, don't try. Okay, opened him up. His card, instruction manual. Put that over here. And we're going to pull him out. Empty. And there is Yoda. I know my nephew has him. I think I saw him in the picture, so uh, there is Yoda. Again, I love the detail of the, the figures. Really, really cool. So, really nice. So, now we're going to take Yoda, bring him over here, and we're going to put him, have to move Minnie a little bit, Olaf, Anna, Elsa, have to move, put him, right there next to Obi-Wan Kenobi. So we have our Star Wars just about complete except for the ones that are coming out next month, next month as well as the ones that are out that I have yet to obtain that are based on the Rebel series. Okay, we're almost down to the nitty gritty. Next up we have Mickey. Now you might all say, well, didn't Mickey, now you might all ask, well, didn't Mickey get a figure before? Yes, he did. Mickey did have a figure before, but uh, that was more of Sorcerer Mickey. There's actually two versions of Sorcerer Mickey. One, one is the traditional Sorcerer Mickey, and one is a crystal version. In other words, kind of translucent version of Sorcerer Mickey. But this is regular Mickey, and just like with Minnie, they're not using that classic mesh of the 1920s to early 40s design, they're instead using the more traditional design that you've been seeing since like uh, House of Mouse, uh, Mickey's Mouse Works, um, what else, uh, in, even, you know, even some of the CGI movies that they've had, like the uh, Mickey's Trice Upon a Christmas, things like that. So, here's Mickey, here's Mr. Ha! How you doing? Them up a little bit, other side, pretty cool. I'm gonna pull him out, get him out. There he is. Get his card box empty, his card instruction manual. Oh, come on, you see, I think. Come on. There we go. Get him out of there. And there's Mickey. Again, I like the fact that they're using the more traditional, uh, more modern look instead of relying on the other look. So there's Mickey. Really, really cool. So, of course, we'll take him, bring him over here, take his card. And everything, you know. Speaking of these cards, if nobody uses them for web codes, I think they should have like a little album for them. They're like a little collector card, you know. And we'll put him. We can move the Incredibles a little bit. Sorry, Incredibles. Gotta move you guys just a bit. Penelope, gotta move you. We'll put him right next to his girl, Minnie. So. Yeah, there we go. Again, it's getting a little bit crowded, so we got to move some stuff around, but there you go. Looks like we've got uh, Elsa standing a little bit, so anyway. There you go. That's a lot of the figures there. Whew! That's a bunch of figures. Now, we get to the nitty-gritty. The, right now, I consider probably the be saving the best for last that is in Inside Out. That's right, we have Inside Out, saving the best for last. And we're going to start with two popular characters. We're going to start with the playset, which contains Joy and Anger. Now, I could have got Joy and Anger on their own at my job. 
and got disgust and sadness over at GameStop. But I decided, you know what? Amazon has an exclusive bundle where you can get all of them, including Fear, who right now, just like those two Star Wars figures, the uh, the Khan one, the uh, the Quran, uh, the uh, Khan one, whatever his name was, um, the Kana one is a Walmart exclusive, and the Zeb one is a GameStop exclusive. Fear from Inside Out is an Amazon exclusive for right now. I'm assuming to the 19th or 20th, but the the rest of these you can get every, everywhere else. So here is joy and anger. And you got the little, um, not the control panel, the, basically the memory thing, or whatever it's called. Let's see, it is, uh, doesn't really say. I'm trying to find the name for it here. So there's the descriptions of them right there. Uh... Trying to think what, what the name is, honestly. It's the oh the, the the core memories. It says an all new Inside Out game, which according to the guy is like a puzzle game, which I think is kind of cool. A nice little change up, if you will. I'd keep this, but I know she'll say something. Might keep it somewhere else. Here's their card. Pretty cool. Instruction manual as well. And this is the core memory uh, play disc, uh, play set. You might remember in the movie, if you've seen it, these are all the core memories. I think these all will light up a little bit. We'll test that out in a little while. That's pretty cool. And of course, we have, we can get her out without damaging her, we have the fun-loving Joy. It's pretty cool. I like the design there. It's almost Dr. Zeus-like, but, you know, uh, it's close to what we see in the movies. So that's pretty cool. So it's Joy. And then, of course, oh, come on, big guy. I know, I know you want out. There we go. We've got anger. And of course, he also has a memory ball as well, a core memory ball as well. I think these all light up when you put them on. We're not entirely sure yet, so we'll look into that later. So we'll take this, place it in here. I think maybe with the uh, play sets like this, I might save that just for the fact that it's inside out or something. I'm not really sure. Okay, so here's Joy, here's Anger. We'll put them over to the side along with the core memories. Now let's get Disgust, which <laughs> happens to be my nephew's, uh, my sec second older nephew, or second youngest nephew's uh, favorite character out of Inside Out. In fact, he's got the doll on her. So, <laughs> anyway, let's get Disgust out of her box. I think she feels disgusted being in it. So, there we go. Bring her out. Instructions. Put that over here. Her card. Boom. Instruction manual. And here comes Disgust. And again, she has a little ball right there, too. So there's Disgust. Nice little design. Pretty cool. Yes, Disgust. And now we've got Sadness. So, pretty cool. What, what does Disgust do? Let's see. The Queen of Sad sends waves of emotion with feisty confidence. That's her. This is Sadness right here. I was kind of surprised that these actually became one of the first ones they brought out with the new 3.0. I would think they were going to wait until like the second or third wave, or if they did a 4.0, but 
you know, inside out's a hot commodity, commodity right now, if you will, that um, people want to, I guess, all, they're going to, Disney and Pixar are going to capitalize on it, just like Disney capitalized with the Frozen. Okay, so, sadness. Here's her card. It's pretty cool. Box empty. Bring her out. And there she is. There's a little sadness. I know if I was to get duplicates of these, that my mom might just want to collect them because she likes the characters. So, there's a little sadness. And next up, the Amazon, as of right now, to probably at least the next few weeks, Amazon exclusive, Fear. That's right, here's Fear. There he is. Easy to bring out. Nice little design there. His hair is kind of movable. I like that. Heck, if you want to put a little hook on him, make a Christmas ornament. They'll probably bring those out these year too, so we'll look out for those. So there's, uh, there he is. It's pretty nice. And of course, you got to get his card. Don't throw that away. There it is. And his instruction manual. So of course, we'll put this along with this thing to the side. Apparently I'm not going to... I'll try to save the boxes maybe, but I don't think that's possible. So now we come over here. Take the cards of the Inside Out characters. Place them in the Mario box. If we can. It looks like we overstuffed it with so many cards, it's not funny. So, there we go. And now, where do we place these guys? Well, they're new to the family, so it's only appropriate It's only appropriate Push them a little bit Up, 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 back, back, back It's only appropriate that they end up in front along with the memory core thing which will be right next to them or it could be in the back with the other ones as well in fact I think the uh, Buzz Lightyear thing is feeling a little lonely so we'll put that right over there and let me hold on for a sec let me get this there they are folks all of the up-to-date, in fact, there are the empty boxes now. Here are all the up-to-date Infinity figures from 1.0 to currently 3.0. Take a look at that. Unreal. We'll take a picture. And again, here's the new power disc along with the other figures which are in here as well and you can get a good look of those good look of those too so whoops there goes Captain America put him in there good look at those you got Thor, Venom, Iron Man, Woody Hulk and then up here you have Black Widow you have Gamora, you have Star-Lord, Aladdin, Jasmine, and Groot. And of course you got the new power pad. 
and the new game is up there. So there it is folks. Disney Infinity 1.0 to 3.0 up to date. If you guys like it, let me know what you guys think down below. Sorry for this being in multiple parts. And I'll talk to you all later.